Look at the combination pag pinagsama, oh. The blue with the green and the brown. So pretty. It's Nilbert! Hello! May balbas na siya ngayon. <laughs> Are you excited? Watch out for the final product! You like? This is different from the Christmas tree na tinuro ko sa inyo in my last YouTube uh, episode last year because that was in my other home wherein the color combination was red, green, traditional. Here in my unit, I like it to be a little more fashion. Parang Na hindi traditional ang color. So I love orange and I love teal and brown and yellow. But the interesting part is what goes on into the creation of all that. Siyempre may kwento, bawat nilagay ko sa tree ko this year, may kwento. And ipapakita ko rin sa inyo paano ang storage, pagtanggal ko, kung ano yung mga bago kong nilagay. Siyempre, namigay na naman ako. Every year may nadadagdag na bago. So, I'm sure you're going to get a lot of tips from how I decorated my place in another home for my Christmas tree. So, paghanda na kayo ng papel at lapis, get some tips, and I hope you enjoy and have an early Christmas as I teach you how I made my Christmas tree. Watch and enjoy! Are the boxes. Ayan, kinuha na sa bodega. And look, like what I taught you, hindi ba nung last year, tinuro ko sa inyo, kailangan naka-label. So, pag kinuha sa bodega, alam nyo kung aling Christmas tree para sa kung anong bahay. So, and everything is packed according to color. These are my Christmas balls for this house. Iba ang concept ng Christmas tree dito sa unit. Ang mga colors niya ay Blue and orange. Ayan. Individually wrapped, especially kung babasagin. Kasi, pagka nagkiskisan, magagasgas, mababasag. Wala, ganun talaga ang buhay. <laughs> Lalo kung gagastusan mo. But these items can last forever if you wrap them well. So, everything is wrapped well. And now, it's ready to be unwrapped again for Christmas 2020. Kahit na lockdown, kahit na pandemic. We are going to have a nice Christmas. And sa mga ilaw, kung ang ilaw lilinisin, iro-roll ng maayos at the end of every season, you will know that you can use your lights for years. So store your lights well. It's important to use or to buy a good brand para magdagal. All weather, kahit na indoors lang. Ibig sabihin matibay. So... It's Nilbert! Hello! May balbas na siya ngayon. Okay, so si Nilbert is every year siyang gumagawa ng Christmas tree. Anong style mo, Nilbert? Sabihin mo. Oh, kailangan pa lahat lang po yung paglagay ng lights natin. Kasi para pag naglagay tayo ng decoration, kitang-kita pa yung ilang. Yes. Ayoko ng blinking. Kasi para feeling ko parang tindahan. Ayoko ng blinking. Gusto ko warm, warm yellow. Yes, Kung nilagay mo, titingnan mo sa malayo. And makikita nyo na sanga-sanga talaga nilalagay. Hindi pwedeng iniikot lang na parang, di ba? Hindi yes. pwedeng paikot lang ang ilaw mo. Hindi maganda. Ipapasok mo talaga siya. And then you can use this because this is bendable. Ayan, nabibend. Para masecure yung ilaw. So, ayan na ang mga ilaw. O, oh, ba? Malapit na siya. Galing ni Nilbert, ano? Sorry po, ah. Tinuruan ko naman siya, kaya lang nagpapatulong na ako. Talaga, hindi ko kaya tong ang dami-dami kong ginagawa. But look, makikita ninyo talagang each branch ang mayroong light. And kailangan hindi masyadong kita all of the, um, all of the wires. Nakabalot talaga siya every other stem. I think that's a secret to lighting a Christmas tree. Kailangan malinis 
at hindi parang sanga-sanga na parang sampayan ng damit ang mga wires. Kailangan yung mga malalaki. Kasi ito ang magbabalanse sa buong tree. O, inuna na namin yung star. Ayun yung star sa ibabaw. Use ribbons to fill up the empty spaces. Ayan. Itong mga ribbons na ito, nabubuka kasi may wire. Wired siya. Mahirap humanap din ng magagandang ribbon. Pag ako naga abroad at nakita kong maganda, ayan, bibiling ko na. So these, I remember, I bought this from Prague. I bunch it together. I put like um, two kinds. Like this one is brown and mesh na silver. And lace na brown. Tinatali ko lang yan ng wire sa likod. And every year, lumalabas siya. So that's... Pwede mong ibuka. Kaya napupuno, kahit malaki ang tree mo, napupuno ang mga empty spaces. There. So the big arrangements like this, inuuna na para mabalanse ang tree. Of course, the origami of my pamangkin. Mga three hours each ornament. He makes it from scratch. This is origami paper. And ginagawa niya ito. Social. Eh kasi naman handmade. And this is another design. So special. See? And you know, pag nilagay sa tree, parang may conversation piece na ginawa ng isang family member. At walang ibang may ganito. Kung hindi, ako lang. Or yung family namin. It's always nice to make it more personalized. I put different pictures of the family and I'm going to put it on the tree like that. See? Iba-iba of our travels during Christmas time. Ayan, my mother-in-law. So, hinanap ko lang ito sa iPad ko. Ayan. O, oh, diba? Kasama namin si Santa Claus. And here with kids. So, you put it all on the tree and it becomes like a family tree. Diba? Make it more personal. So, this is one of those also. Styropor. Mas maliliit. Tela. And then, para siyang ubas. I buy balls of different sizes. May maliit, may malaki. Pwede gawin parang ubas na ganyan. So when you put it on, it looks more special. Diba? Kasi yung hiwa-hiwalay lahat. Look at the combination pag pinagsama. Oh. The blue with the green and the brown. So pretty. It's coming together. And alam nyo naman yung ginawa ko dito, right? Pero nag-level up ako ng konti. So these are styrofoam balls. Marami yan styrofoam balls and bumili ako ng tela na gusto kong print parang puchi print ito and then ginupit ng bilog there but now pinilagyan ko siya ng ganito pinilagyan ko siya ng edging para hindi siya parang ginupit lang sa mga dulo babalutin mo lang and then lalagyan ng ribbon tada it's a really nice Christmas ball with the pattern you like and the ribbon you like. And it's part of my theme. Black, brown, white, and then teal blue. Marami akong ganyan. And it's all coming together. Ayan na, malapit na. Marami pa akong isasabi. And then yung origami of my pamangkin. And most of the blue, wala pang orange. Nagbabalot pa si Milbert. Kawai-kawai pang may time, Milbert. And Jerlan. So, are you excited? Watch out for the final product. Done! Oh, diba? Da!
that's my Christmas tree here in my lockdown residence. Ang ganda ng ito. Ayan ang mga detalye. Kompleto na siya. Layo tayo ng content para makita natin how beautiful the tree is. Oh, ayun. Saka nang gugulo yung aking dog. That's the Christmas tree. Thank you, Nilbert! Palakpakan! Salamat! And it's done. So see, making your own Christmas tree can really, really be fun. Basta planuhin nyo lang, di ba? Yung mga luma, lalagay nyo ng mga bago, kailangan may mga personal touches, merong handmade, may bigay ng mga minamahal sa buhay. Basta ang Christmas tree ninyo, parati nyo tatandaan, has to be about you. Kailangan may kwento. So I hope you really enjoyed this and I hope that you do something special for your Christmas tree. I wish you all a merry, merry Christmas. A safe and healthy one and a really, really meaningful one. Marami tayong pinagdaanan this year. So I hope that the Christmas that you're going to have is going to be one of realization and lessons learned and we emerge from all of this better human. Christmas everybody. Like and subscribe to Raymond Corina on YouTube. Push that notification button so that you get notified about the next new episodes of my vlog here in my YouTube channel. Raymond Corina, yay! Thank you everybody! And thank you for watching. See you again soon.